Eight hours ago today, Runway ML has dropped one of the biggest text to video updates we have seen in 2024. Is it any good? Well, let's dive in and see for ourselves. This is the video that Runway ML has given, and we can see directly from the video that the I made it into 2x speed. I'm going to put the link for this one down below, but you can see just from the definition, this is as close to what we've seen with Sora. We don't have Sora with us, so we cannot compare it. But based on Hyper AI and the other AI platforms, even the LTX studio that I mentioned a couple of days ago, this one is by far the best. I mean, we can see the fidelity, the controllability, also the details in the human expression. I mean, wow. If this is what we are seeing just by the demo, I don't know what we have in store for us. But the good thing about Runway, what they've done is they've given us two links where we can actually dive in and understand more about what the um, Gen Alpha 3 is all about. We're going to go right into that in a bit. And I'm going to have it down in the link below so you can again watch it for yourself. If you go to academy.runwayml.com, they actually have a dedicated section, as you can see right over here, where they've started, uh, get started with Gen 3 Alpha. And in that, they actually break down a couple of important things. Like, for instance, I'm not going to play this video as well. Again, all the important videos that we have in this specific um, in this specific video, I'm going to be having it in the links down below so you can read it at your own discretion and watch those videos. But here, what they're mentioning is it is a text-to-image video tool, and it can select Gen 3 Alpha from the model dropdown. So we do have Gen 2, and then we'll have Gen 3. We're going to do a hands-down real quick, but I just want to go through some small, uh, fine-tuned details before we get into actually playing with it. It's going to be super fun. Just by the demo, what I've seen, it's really going to be fun. It's a text prompt, and then we can have two options up to five and ten seconds, and they are generating 720p generations for takes up to 60 seconds. And the biggest thing that we are seeing now is that Runway ML encourages that we use cinematic and film jargons. So if you want to use words like dolly in, dolly out, pan, tracking shots, cinematic, FPV drone shots, those are some of the terms that would really be encouraged. You can also just go with simple terms like just cat. And it's still going to show up with an amazing video. This is by far the best video that I have seen so far. Or is it though? I mean, I've just seen the demo so far. Let's see some other information. Conveniently so. The previous page was the academy.runwayml.com where you can find some helpful video about what Runway ML Gen 3 is about. But if you go to the help.runwayml.com, you're going to get right on the top in the header, you're going to get introducing Gen 3 Alpha. So you can click on the try now. First, you, I would say you should click on the see documents. And then you're going to go creating with Gen 3 Alpha. And here you get some basic information. So let's just have a read about it before we actually go hands-on about it. So Gen 3 is the first upcoming models that offers improvement in fidelity, consistency, and motion speed over previous generations. So we have, as I've also mentioned previously, the 5 seconds and the 10 seconds. So you have two options. And the credit system would work. It'll be based on 50 credits to 100 credits. So for every 10 seconds, you're basically burning up to 100 credits. So that will also be something that we're going to have to talk about. And it's explore mode on unlimited. And the platform is available only on web. And it is a text based. But there's mentioning something about image coming soon. That's going to be something you will definitely want to check with me when I am also going to be doing an update on that. I want to also see what it would look like if we can and when we can have the images in image references, images, that'll be something completely different. For now, we just have the text and the total character count we can have is 500 characters. And it is standard definition of 720p, which is still a huge thing. I guess we're just in the precipice of breaking the video context with text to video this moment so 720p cuts it and then the aspect ratio is going to be 16 by 9 and 24 fps is what we have and then they've also given a couple of examples in the text prompts as we can see right over here just by the get-go the the first one you can see the the length of the definition that they have a dramatic zoom in on the face of a movie villain as he raises an eyebrow and the light shifts casting an eerie red glow evil layer 1980s spy movie cinematic 35 millimeter film dynamic movement this almost feels like when we used to write for mid journey way back when it kind of feels like that you're adding a lot of important words but wow this just looks like a footage same goes with the other one a science fiction action chase scene fpv drone hyperspeed it actually looks amazing like wow and then this one, if you wanted to create some kind of a VFX kind of a graphic, this would also be something really nice, a dynamic motion, which is 30x speed. Camera follows a translucent white plastic grocery bag and a bold red. It's also having text, so we can see how text works in this. And we also have the option to remove the watermark. So that, we have some information about it, so we can see about that. And you can also have some prompting guides. So the prompting that usually, as I've mentioned earlier now, is that it works based off of your base prompt structure, which is you would need to have some kind of a jargon, cinematic, as opposed to just describing it plainly. They've also mentioned it over here. So if you have a camera movement, then you have an establishing shot. 
the scene, then you have the additional details. And the example would be low angle static shot. The camera is angled up at a woman wearing all orange as she stands in a tropical rainforest with colorful flora. Dramatic sky is overcast and gray. So you can automatically just see how well defined it has to be. And for repeating and reinforcing key ideas is also important. And then sample prompts they've also given us. So camera movement prompts, text title cards. So we could also use that. Why this is more to be excited about than to be worried about as videographers or photographers and anybody who's using stock footage. Because say for an example, if you're not able to go to a specific place and if you're not able to get the permits for specific things for a specific kind of a shoot that you need, now you can just put in a specific prompt and you're going to be able to get your desired outcome for a scene within a matter of minutes. That's just unheard of. So in that regard, you don't need stock, you don't need licenses, and you don't need production. You can literally work it out with what we have now. So for that regard, I think it's a really beneficial idea to really pursue and think about it. Moving on, we can also see some sample prompts they've mentioned. Continuous hyperspeed FPV drone footage. The camera seamlessly flies through a canyon to a dreamy landscape. So you'd be able to see, and they also have camera movements, and then you can actually see what it means. So if it's a low angle, you, it actually shows the low angle, a high angle, literally like how you would do cinematic shots. So you got to think like a director or a cinematographer, and that would be the best way to be able to get a kind of a prompt idea. Overhead shot, I kind of like this overhead, which is also like a floating shot. We're going to try a couple of these examples today. And then you also have an FPV kind of a shot, like a drone shot. So that's also a really interesting thing over there. Then you have a handheld shot, which is so interesting because now that looks like someone's just like walking with you and you're just like holding it with you. That is just mind blowing. So far, the demos, I'm just like blown away. Also, by the way, side note, if you haven't seen it already, I'm actually doing a challenge on my Instagram account. So I'm going to put my Instagram down below and I literally made a fashion campaign for 20 seconds with Gen 3. I wanted to see what it would look like. I was kind of blown away by the results of that. If you want to go and check out that one, you can also check out my challenges. I'm doing a 100-day challenge over there. Moving on, we could see, again, it's all about the details that you have in the different kinds of shots. Think cinematography and director. But some of the expression, like even the snorri cams and the 15mm lens cams, wow, these are like even the camcorder effects is just amazing. Lighting styles also make a huge difference when we are talking about this prompting for Gen 3. And the movement speeds, there is a lot that we can have, and textiles. So these are some very basic elements that we would need, because these are just the demos, but we're gonna see how they actually look like in the console. Now, to get to the good stuff, we've been speaking a lot about the details, the prompting, but to get to the good stuff, you would wanna go to runwayml.com, right over here, and then you're gonna click on login or sign up, depending on what you have. As you can see, right on the banner, they have already announced they have the Gen 3 Alpha available now. So you click on login. For me, I'm going to click on login. The minute you click on login, you're going to be introduced to the dashboard. If you haven't already been to the dashboard, this is what the dashboard looks like. You have the runway watch and you have the other elements over there. I'm going to be making another video about runway. I've actually made a video about runway in the past, but I'm going to make another one breaking down runway's dashboard system. But today we're just focusing on Gen 3 Alpha, as you can see over there. So the Gen 3 Alpha has more details and you can get started. We're going to go with get started. So once I click on get started, it takes me straight to a box which is the prompt and describe the shot or view guide and the gen 3 alpha has a drop down so once you go to the drop down you have two models those two models are the gen 2 which is the older version if you haven't already used that i have a link on that so you can see about that how that it works about and now you also have the gen 3 alpha the gen 2 is a multi-modal video generation what does that mean so if you would do that you would be able to get images we don't have the images yet for the gen 3 alpha we only have a text then over here next to the corner you're going to see a settings you have the prompt and you have very easily the custom presets so if you want to build your own presets if you're like creating like a scene by scene then that's what you're going to have so these are very simple few that you have over there and then you have the total duration at the bottom over here which is either five seconds or 10 seconds as mentioned in the guide earlier that the five seconds would be 50 credits and the 10 seconds is going to be 100 credits speaking of which if we go right on the top over there you can see i have 2250 credits but if we go to more details you're going to actually see that the pro actually has more than that so here's the thing if we go to the runway ml this is one more thing that you're going to think about is that the pricing for them is $15 and $35 for the credits. So you get 625 credits. It's roughly around a minute's worth of Gen 3 footage as opposed to the $35. So if you're like a hardcore enthusiast and if you're really trying to get your hands into it, 
I would recommend you get this one for 2,250 credits per month as opposed to 620. You do not get Gen 3 Alpha if you're doing the basic version because they don't have that yet. So that is something to consider. So the $35 a month is the one that you would have to get in order to get the Gen 3 Alpha, which in my opinion, as of now, that is a good bargain for value for money. And anyway, so we're going to go back to over our Gen 3 Alphas page. And now for the prompt, I have actually taken the liberty to ask ChatGPT using some information from the prompting guides and from the descriptions that we saw from the help and the academy to give us some prompts. I'm going to be using a very simple prompt, which anybody can use, and we don't need to do anything. It's going to be a cat. That's it. But for the purposes of this one, I'm going to do a five second video. Also, right on the top over there, before I go anywhere else, you see that there is a generative video and then you have a shared asset. So if you want to share it with others, if you're like creating a multi-collaborative project, you could add it over here. You could see it's shared assets section, but I'm having it obviously in the private assets. So if you go over here, then you can automatically go to the dashboard open assets. So you could find it over there. So then I put a cat and then you're going to go generate. The minute I do that, you're going to see it's going to drop on my credits soon enough. Now, as you can see, this queues up and the minute it queues, it's going to start having the loading. We see the loading happening now. There you see it. The, I just wrote the word cat. You directly saw that it was just like loading, unlike any other platforms like Mid Journey, where you could actually see the images being formed. Here you don't see it, it comes as a queue. But anyways, when you click on this, I'm going to click on this and it's a five seconds of a cat. Like, can you see the details in the cat? I didn't even mention the breed. I didn't mention the angles of the camera. I didn't do any of that. You can literally just go now and just like put the word cat and you're going to get yourself a cat footage. Can you imagine like where we are at this point in time? This is like, wow. If somebody told me this like five years ago, I would have been shocked. But that doesn't stop right there. We saw a whole bunch of demos. And like I said, I have a couple over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be taking a few from here. So we have one which at GPT 4.0 has given us is a serene misty forest. So let's take this one. So this is going to be our first prompt. And if at any time, if you want to just like clear out your menu, you can always just go over here at the top and you can cancel that. Or you can click on favorite and you can also see the full prompt. You could also reuse the settings and then you can download it. As you see, when I did the generation of this specific prompt, the cat, I lost 50 credits to this prompt. So exactly, so five seconds is 50 credits and 10 seconds is 100 credits. For this one over here, this prompt, I'm gonna splurge a little bit and I'm gonna go for 10 seconds. That's gonna burn my 100 credits. So it's gonna go down to 2,100. So that's another thing. You really wanna consider taking the $35 a month because of that, so that you can actually play around because it's, I just subscribed today and I'm already down with a lot of credits because I was also using it for my Instagram fashion film that I spoke about earlier. So in any case, we're gonna now put this prompt and we're gonna see what comes out on the other end. Now, before we jump into that video that just got done for us, we can actually, another thing that you could do is if you're running out of your credits, you can get more credits without having to upgrade. How? You click on get credits and you can add more credits as you're choosing. So if you want more credits, you can get it accordingly based on how much you need. So that's a quick tip over there. And like I said, so if you want to just like clear your space, but I'm not going to clear it now. So this was my prompt. Again, I'm going to have the prompt also down in the description. So you can also feel free and use the same exact prompt for yourself. And um, you can see what it comes out for yourself and whether you're having some fun with it. So here I have added some cinematic angles like the 35 millimeter. I asked ChatGPT to give me some cinematic and film oriented direction. And I'm going to click the video. I made it a 10 second video. And we can just see, wow, this looks, I mean, do we really need a camera at this point? It's like, this is immaculate. That's just 720p. Mind you, this is the worst that the AI video is going to get. We're only going to get better from here. And if this is where we are getting from, this is just like amazing. And we're going to see what other results we're going to get. Now for this next one, the first one we did was an animal. The, the second one we did is kind of a landscape, a landscape shot that you're going into. And this third one, I want to do more of a dramatic close-up of a face because we've seen in the demos, they have a really good expression in the eyes. So I'm going to make this again five seconds. I just want to get a quick glimpse in how, how it looks. Does it actually look like a human being? Since it's endless possibilities, we have the animal over there, the cat. We have this video. Now I did... And again, all of the prompts that I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be having it in the links down below. So you can also use these prompts for yourself and you can have a good time and you can play around with it. But you can see just by the still, it actually looks like a part of a movie. I mean, that person really looks like it's been rendered. Imagine me trying to render it. I have never rendered anything. This just looks insane. I'm going to play the video. It's a five second clip. We're going to see how it looks. Wow. Those eyes. If they are not human, I don't know what are. That's just like amazing. 
we're going to try another one. This one is going to be more of like a motion graphic with text because I saw in the examples that we had that you could also use some text. So we've already seen a couple of examples. Now we're going to try with some text. And I'm again going to do five seconds because as we can see, the credits keep ticking off. So we want to just be mindful about that because I also want to make a project and I'm going to be putting a, a video, uh, a small short film about it soon in the couple of weeks. So do feel free to subscribe. Now we're going to do the motion graphics part. Green screen. So now if you want to do something with green screen, you have yourself a green screen element. Does the text actually make any sense? Probably not, but the text has a kind of legibility. You can read what it's saying, S-M-A-L, and it has an effect, mind blown. I mean, all these three elements, these four elements are mind blown. So for this one, I'm trying to do is a luxury watch rotating in a green screen background and the camera is zooming in to highlight intricate details such as the craftsmanship of the watch face. So if we wanted to like create something for like a branded watch, then can we do using this video platform? So that is what I wanted to try with this. And I'm again making it five seconds because as we can clearly see that the credits are not going to stay for long. And I definitely want to make a video specifically with Gen 3 Alpha. And also, as you can see, that it's always one iteration that you get. You can reuse the settings, but you don't get multiple, which kind of makes sense. So you get what you have. You don't have like multiple options like in the image platform. So you just get one per. And this is our watch. I mean, wow. Is the dimensions a little off when it's turning? Might be. This is the first one where I see that being an issue. But otherwise, the front facing of the watch, wow. It's like you could still salvage that. You could still work with that. And then the last one I want to just like add before we sign it off for this one is going to be hands. We know how hands in the AI space has always been an iffy thing, whether it be in images or be it in videos. So let's see how Runway Gen 3 Alpha is actually going to help. So for that, I have a very specific prompt of a close-up of a woman's hand gently applying a luxurious hand cream. This is more of a commercial kind of a thing. For this one, I'm going to be going for a whole 10 seconds. So we're going to go 10 seconds and we're going to see how it comes out to be. I guess this is a place where hands do make a difference because as we can see, it is kind of becoming an abomination. But again, of the five videos that we just saw, the quality is there. As opposed to some of the previous videos we've seen over the years in the AI space, these videos have a promise. These videos have a deliverability. You can actually use these if you wanted to for specific task projects. Depending on what your project is looking like, you can actually use some of these. And you could make something for like a B-roll footage if you didn't get a footage. So I can see some use case scenarios with these very valuable prompts and these valuable videos. It is just amazing. Do feel free to subscribe to this channel so you can also get to see that video when it comes out. And please feel free to like, share, and also comment down below. What do you think about this Gen 3 Alpha? Are you scared? Is it? Are you skeptical? Do you think there is a promise to this or do you think it's just going to like go away? I would like to compare it against Sora, but we don't have Sora to try it out against. So for now, we don't have anything to compare with. To compare it with Hyper wouldn't be a good idea, but let me know in the comments down below if you think I should be comparing it with any other AI platforms. I know Pling is also there, but would you want me to compare with anything else? And that being said, Link, where I'm going to be having a video which is completely different from the demo that I did here and from the other video that I mentioned earlier. So you can check it out and see for yourself the quality and how it looks. It is really mind-blowing. In my opinion, I'm shocked. The hands definitely have an issue, but I think we can finesse it. It's not a complete issue, but the controllability, what Runway ML has actually promised us, is there. You just have to push it. And definitely, if you get the $35 one, it would be the more bang for your buck because clearly during the course of this video, you already saw we were three to 400 credits off because of doing these demos. So you would, if you want to like try for yourself, I would recommend you try out with the $35 one if you wanted to do so. Otherwise, if you like this video, you could check out this video over here because YouTube thinks this is a good video to watch. You could also check this video over here. This was the video that I had made about Hyper AI. That's also another text, text to video AI, uh, which you could check out over here. And you could also subscribe. So feel free to subscribe over there. And you can also check out that playlist over there. And until then, I'm going to see you in the next video.